Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back there, Daily Crypto News and Analysis. And today, we are going to be talking about Hedera and HBAR. So sit back, relax, and before we fully jump on into this video, I do just want to ask guys to please leave a like on this video. It does help the channel grow immensely, and of course, I always do greatly appreciate that. And if you do find any of the information in this video valuable, useful, or interesting in any sort of way possible, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on to never miss a future update. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go in depth at all on the price chart for Hedera. I've done that in the last uh, like couple of days. If you guys do want to know those targets that I'm basically looking forward to seeing, uh, you guys are more than welcome to go check out those videos. Now, I will say this today. I will reiterate a little bit on, on what I said in my XRP video, and that is just to continue to watch the dollar, the DXY on TradingView. Uh, for all those individuals out there that do want to keep track of that. Also, watch the major indices as they do open in roughly about two and a half hours from now. But I do want to talk to you guys about Hedera. We have been seeing, you know, some updates here and there, nothing too crazy. We hit about 20 cents overall, which isn't too crazy of a price target. I mean, it's, you know, a little bit closer to my points of, you know, where I do want to rebuy, if I will. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of stuff kind of ranging on this you know, market success currently, uh, more so, you know, around Bitcoin, the indices, the major economical viewpoints on, you know, what's happening in the world currently. Um, but today I want to talk to you guys about the major connection that Hedera has to some major names out there. And we're going to be talking about the true vision here behind some of the, you know, I, I would say the efficiencies that are on the Hedera network, but also the connections that Hedera does have that are, you know, basically being built out as well. So let's kind of dive in here and let's talk about it. So first off, you know, we do see this tweet, uh, FIS Global joins Shift Network's Crypto Compliance Network. It's the second non-crypto firm to join Shift following law firm DLA Piper last month. Uh, not surprising, Hedera's council members are joining a crypto compliance network. Hedera is definitely involved here. Um, now, this goes back a little bit to March 3rd, uh, just to reiterate, um, but I'm really kind of connecting the dots here. So achieving V1 of the Hedera network code is an important milestone for the council and community and providing a robust network for anyone anywhere in the world to build and deploy decentralized applications. And then of course we do see this announcement, right? So a lot of this is in my opinion directly connected. Um, you know, there's obviously not a solidified announcement saying that this is directly connected, but I think that this could be very interesting to see kind of unfold, especially with DLA Piper. Uh, we do see here it's about how we bridge the crypto world and the traditional world. Now this quote here is what kind of solidified the idea that you know Hedera has a key you know playing role here. We're actually going to be talking about why. Uh, now we do see down here FIS and World Pay are getting equipped by, uh, for the next generation of payments. Having a regulatory compliant data layer becomes critical, whether it uh, you know be with stable coins or between VSPs, virtual asset service providers, uh, from a travel rule perspective. Now, let's actually talk about this because. I think that this is getting very, very interesting very fast. And also, we do see this quote down here. It's about how we bridge the crypto world and traditional world. Having institutions like DLA Piper or World Pay being able to cross verify these types of entities really helps establish on chain trust in ways that we've never seen before. Now, this leads me back to this announcement going back to November 5th, 2021. Um, I've talked to you guys about this in a world in a FIS um, video before with Hedera. But this is with Hashboard. So obviously Hashboard did get released in November of 2021. Um, I'm sure that a lot of you individuals out there that are you know, keeping up with Hedera stuff, I'm sure that you've known about Hashboard for a little bit of time. Um, but we did see World Pay from FIS uh, and you know Hashboard, a world of possibility awaits. Now, obviously this partnership opens up a world of possibility. You know, when we're talking about this, this is basically that bridge, if you will, with interoperability. We do see as a global leader in payment solutions, World Pay from FIS, it's at the forefront of technological innovation. As a long uh, time participant in the crypto ecosystem, FIS is excited to announce that it will join Hashboard, a new distributed ledger uh, interoperability platform. Now, um, Hedera and you know, FIS have been partnered for a very long time. Now, I've always addressed in terms of like alliance block and stuff like that. You know, these bridges that are being built out are huge money makers for the future of this market. And that's basically what this will be as well. You know, we do see Hashport will help reduce transaction complexity and processing times that currently plague the DLT industry today. 
in the not too distant future, efficient, cost effective real time settlements between the worlds of DeFi and CeFi will become reality. And this is those bridges. Like I said, you know, this is decentralized finance and centralized finance. Um, we also see traditional finance being, you know, basically bridged with DeFi as well. DeFi is a huge opportunity in this market. And we're seeing a lot of DeFi stuff happening um, on Hedera right now. Um, I've actually been addressing this and talking to you guys about it as it's kind of getting built out. I think that a lot of the things behind the scenes that are being built out on Hedera, um, a lot of individuals are kind of just, you know, ignoring, if you will, um, which is a very bad thing to do. I mean, realistically speaking, like w w the, the potential that this is really kind of unlocking through, you know, Hashport is truly incredible. Um, you know, I think that when we are seeing, you know, a lot of these major bridges being built, I think Hashport definitely will be one of those major leading uh, innovations that are on the Hedera ecosystem. And, you know, you guys do see World Pay from FIS is labeled here. Um, and of course, other ones as well. But, you know, for the most part, World Pay is the huge money, you know, chain, uh, the money uh, maker here, if you will. Um, because I've always in addressed, you know, this company. I've always addressed the overview on how much money is behind this company. Um, you know, this is a trillion dollar plus uh, company, and I've addressed this. I've talked to you guys about it. I've talked to you guys about how they have massive amounts of clients, as you guys do see here. You know, this is ten trillion dollars plus moved a year, seventy nine billion transactions, and of course, twenty thousand plus clients. Uh, things are really kind of ramping up with a lot of the stuff happening behind the scenes. Now, I'm not going to talk to you guys about all the clients because they have a ton of them. Um, I could mention a few if you guys do want me to. I mean, some of these are probably going to be names that a lot of you don't know, um, but some of them are, you know, you can pretty much tell how big these are. So here's some client stories. Uh, Newburyport uh, Bank. You know, this is modernizing to scale up services without adding significant staff and to accelerate growth. American scaffolding and industrial wire rope as well. Uh, a lot of banks and stuff like that as well. I mean, like, you really got to look at some of these major names. I mean, some of these are not like names that me or you or the typical individual would know about unless you actually, you know, are doing intense research on a lot of these banks. But a lot of this is all regarding fintech and finance in general. A lot of it is banks, as you guys do see. Um, in my opinion, I think that this is huge. And also, <laughs> there you guys have it. FPOS is one of them as well in terms of one of their client stories. Uh, the, the, you know, in my opinion, the connections run very deep with Hedera with a lot of these major names. Um, honestly, I think that you got to really kind of look into things and see the puzzle pieces coming together from, you know, Hedera side. But I definitely do think that Hashport is probably one of the biggest things that have launched on Hedera. Um, and I also think that this is kind of going to I, I would say it's going to be the major stepping stone for Adara to be interconnected with a lot of these major players. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing a lot of stuff unfold with FIS uh, World Pay uh, because, like I said, it's a direct connection with Hedera. Now, with that being said, I do want to talk to you guys about some other stuff as well. So here we have companies hiring for crypto jobs. Now, guys, I've been watching crypto continue to grow and grow and grow. I mean, a lot of these names that we see uh, coming out were blatantly attacking crypto uh, for many years. I mean, we go back to the 2017, 2018 bull run, and a lot of these names that we see now joining in on crypto uh, were the same ones that were saying that crypto is, you know, way too risky. You should avoid it. You shouldn't get into crypto. And now we're seeing them joining in, of course, on crypto and adopting it at mass scale. Um, you know, we are seeing, you know, some major names here, you know, Amazon, uh, Microsoft, of course, Microsoft is like a direct connection with Hedera as well. Uh, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, MasterCard, JP Morgan, I mean, even Fidelity. And of course, some of these names, I mean, I'm sure that all of you guys know all of these names. I mean, any typical individual should know all of these names, but things are growing so fast on this in this market. And honestly, when we're seeing this market kind of sitting at around like $1.72 trillion, it's crazy to say that, you know, we are still in the infancy stages of this market. And the, and the prices really kind of do show that as well. And I also think that it's the idea that like we are seeing stuff like this, like we see little to stop cryptos, you know, market cap from reaching the trillions of dollars. Um, like I said, when we are seeing, you know, the market cap of crypto, like, it's already, you know, $1.7 trillion. You know, it hit already, you know, $3 trillion at all time highs. Uh, I've always addressed the idea that we will be seeing, you know, crypto in general hit $100 trillion plus in market cap potential. And I just continue to see a lot of things being built out in crypto as well, especially on Hedera. 
Uh, so to really kind of wrap this up, I do want to just address one last major tweet here. Uh, this comes from Danny Ide, so shout out to Danny Ide. Um, but this is more so talking about Galaxy. Now again, like I've said, with a lot of the things that are happening in this, you know, ecosystem, I definitely th think that Web3 is continuing to grow out in, t in numbers and also become the next major stepping stone for, you know, retail demand and adoption. And here we have, you know, platforms that have the speed scalability to kind of shoot off the fractional shares and the royalties to those individual wallets. Hedera Hashgraph, they're one of the best layer ones out there. Uh, Galaxy app is making it easier, dumbing it down to regular person to a regular person, sorry, who isn't really invested or have the knowledge to participate. Um, and then, of course, we do see, you know, it allows for those royalties to continue to go on to uh, perpetuity and never be cut off by third party or somebody that seems to have like authority or control. Now, like I said, a lot of this is regarding Galaxy. Uh, you know, I, I really look forward to seeing Galaxy. Um, you know, really kind of be fully launched and, you know, fully being adopted. Like, I know that this is live already, but I just look forward to seeing this, like, at its peak, if you will. Um, because I do think that you, a lot of these marketplaces that we see, like, a lot of them are kind of the same. Like, you know, I see a lot of NFT marketplaces coming up now. Uh, it's kind of getting a little bit uh, too much, if you will. It's almost like copy and paste code of, like, the OpenSea, you know, code and then kind of just reskinning it. Um, but I think that this is so much cooler. Like, I think that this overall, like when we were talking about social marketplaces for, you know, individuals like you or me to really kind of make money um, off of like just content in general, I think that that's awesome. Open the doors for more, you know, opportunity. Like, I'm still looking forward to the day that we see like a, you know, a, almost like a crypto driven YouTube uh, sort of come out because, you know, don't get me wrong. I love YouTube. YouTube's great. Um, I think that there's a ton of opportunity on YouTube for anybody to really kind of start their own channel and do their own thing. Um, but I just think that when we were talking about YouTube kind of being locked behind like a centralized entity like Google, um, I just don't like that idea. I think that these, you know, social marketplaces that are being built within crypto uh, truly have a lot of success behind them simply because they're really kind of empowering the creator uh, to make their own opportunity. And I think that that's awesome. I think that that's incredible. Um, and really, there's no control over these social marketplaces from a perspective on, you know, what can you really become? Uh, on YouTube, you know, a lot of things kind of get thrown to the side while the most, you know, popular content kind of gets the spotlight. Um, and it's more so kind of controlled by an algorithm. Uh, this is more so like just you know, a decentralized social marketplace where anyone uh, can be, you know, very successful. And I love that. I love that about Galaxy as well. I think that a lot of these platforms are going to definitely drive a lot of retail demand and success. And uh, I definitely look forward to that. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. If you guys want more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.